we're going to explain why you might see the error. Android ADB cannot connect to Daemon at TCP port 5037 inches and how to fix it. This error means your Android Debug Bridge, ADB, the tool that lets your computer communicate with your Android device, can't talk to the ADB daemon running on your device or emulator. Let's go through the common causes and solutions. 1. ADB server, not running. The first thing to check is if the ADB server itself is running on your computer. You might need to start it manually. Open your command prompt or terminal and type ADB start server. If it says it's already running, that's good. If there's an error, that needs fixing first. Try restarting your computer to see if that helps. 2. USB debugging. Not enabled. On your Android device, make sure USB debugging is turned on. This setting allows ADB to communicate with your device. Usually you find this in the Developer Options menu, which you may have to enable first, often by tapping the Build number in the About Phone section several times. Once Developer Options is enabled, locate and enable USB debugging. 3. Incorrect USB connection. Ensure your device is properly connected to your computer via a USB cable. Try a different USB port and or cable, as sometimes a faulty port or cable can disrupt the connection. Make sure the cable is working with other devices too to rule this out as a cause. 4. Driver issues. Sometimes, Windows has trouble recognizing your Android device. You might need to install or update the necessary USB drivers for your specific device. Check your device manufacturer's website for the latest drivers. On some systems, simply reinstalling the USB drivers can help resolve the issue. 5. Firewall or antivirus interference. Your firewall or antivirus software might be blocking ADB's connection. Temporarily disable them to see if that's the problem. If it works, you'll need to configure your firewall or antivirus to allow ADB through. Look for rules related to ADB or the port 5037. 6. ADB installation. Problems. If you recently installed or updated ADB, there could be issues with the installation. Try reinstalling the Android SDK Platform Tools Package from the official Android developer website. A clean reinstall often resolves mysterious ADB problems. 7. Multiple ADB instances. Having multiple ADB instances running at the same time can cause conflicts. Try closing all command prompts or terminal windows where you're using ADB before restarting the server. Use the task manager, Kutrel plus shift plus ESC on Windows, to end any ADB.exe processes running. 8. Emulator issues, if applicable. If you're using an emulator, ensure it's running correctly and connected. Try restarting the emulator and check its settings to see if there's anything preventing ADB communication. 9. Device-specific problems. Some Android devices might have unusual settings or configurations that interfere with ADB. Search online forums for solutions specific to your device model and this error. 10. Check the logcat. If you have still issues, you could check your logcat to identify what error your device is getting. This will often show more context regarding why the connection is failing. Use ADB Logcat in a terminal to access these logs. If you've tried all these steps and are still facing problems, consider providing more details about your setup, operating system, Android version, device model, etc. When asking for help in online forums or communities, remember to always back up your data before making significant changes to your system.